This is Hank North reporting for the Bureau of Street Services, and here's what's happening now. Today we're down on the corner of Cantfield and Gibson with light equipment operator Richard Davis. Thanks for having us, Richard. Good to see you again. Absolutely. Great to see you as well. Now, last time we met, we were talking about a pretty standard stump removal procedure. How is this one different? Well, one thing, this, this stump is much bigger. It covers the whole parkway, as you can see. It's a cab stump, and it has been here about one year. So the stump is almost petrified. It's very hard wood. Mm -hmm. uh, I was told that it was going to be a rotted stump, which is not. It's going to take a little bit longer to cut this thing down because it's very hard. We have another problem, which is the water meter. Hmm. It's right in the, in, in the stump, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's surrounded by wood, the stump. So we're going to have to go in by hand and cut around this and be real careful not to hit the water line, because the water line is prevalent at this time. Once the stump is removed, what's the next step? Or is there going to be a replant, or, or how do you handle that? We try to replant uh, every, uh, every location where we take a stump out. We try to do a replant there. Um, and probably what we do is to keep it uh, in uniform. All these uh, trees are mostly sycamore. So we'll do uh, a sycamore replant, probably a 15-gallon replant. So right in the middle of this stump, we'll probably make a big enough hole where we can do a replant and make it beautiful.